Hi, it's Sarah from Sarah Lane Art, formerly Sarah's Art Life, but uh, my social media is still Sarah's Art Life. Um, I just want to take a minute to reflect on the past year of a portraits project that I've been working on with Marie Eaton and Richard Schultz under a grant from the Chuckanut Health Foundation and the Palliative Care Institute has been working with us. And we decided just before, maybe it was during the beginnings of COVID, time's a little bit blurry at this stage, um, that we'd like to interview uh, older adults in Whatcom County as part of Aging Well Whatcom to tell their stories of life and aging experience and all of that in the effort to maybe do a little cultural shift around what it means to grow older, as well as to bring attention to our aging community and the needs that might be emerging over the next 10 years. And so Marie had this idea based on some sketches I like to do over Zoom that we do these interviews. So Richard, who is a musician and is a beautiful sound uh, editor, producer, uh, worked with us to interview folks over Zoom, get the best sound quality and put together seamless condensed interviews of some amazing older adults that by all means rep do not represent all of the folks in our area, but do represent a nice cross section of experiences in life and growing older in Whatcom County. Um, and so I just wanted to introduce you to some of the portraits and invite you to go to the Chuckanut Health Foundation's website to listen to the five minute interviews, just about five minutes for each person and um, get to know their stories, get to know their amazing lives, um, enjoy the beautifully produced interviews and take a look at the portraits. So I'll start by showing you the preliminary sketches I did of Marie and Richard and me. Over here, I'm outside taking advantage of probably one of the last days of uh, nice weather here for a few days. In the center, we have Marie Eaton, and she is the genius behind this, as well as a talented musician and writer. Here's Richard, and I think he's got a little light on his upper lip here, but uh, maybe that's to highlight how beautifully he communicates. And he too is a, a brilliant musician. And then there's me, and I will never love my own portraits, so I, I rarely do self-portraits. Um, but uh, that's me with shorter hair as this project began a year ago. And I just kind of want to skim down the line of the portraits because um, there's 20 of them. And from beginning to end, you can see that um, there's a lot of really different people and different, uh, different kinds of portraits, even though I try to keep the series similar so that everyone was reflected, I don't know, equally so that my style didn't change too much as we went through this year. We have musicians and lawyers and tribal elders and brilliant executive directors of great nonprofits bringing health equity, photographers and mothers and fishers and teachers and nurses and actors and farmers and community members who are fantastic. And it is just such a privilege to get to know all these people over the last year. I just invite you to um, go to the Chuckanut Health Foundation website, Art, Art of Aging. Uh, under Aging Well Whatcom, um, a group that works uh, as a, is a part of Chuckanut Health Foundation. And I'll include a link to that, but just spending time with people listening and looking and um, appreciating. So thank you for your time and for being here. Take care.